All right, taking a look at how many 100 degree days we have had so far in 2021. And there is a common theme here, goose egg and temple, goose egg Waco, goose egg Colleen. And that's because we've had unseasonably cool air throughout the summer months. However, that could possibly change as we hit throughout the course of this upcoming week. And here's why as we take a look at a wide view at our radar, we have a high pressure that is situated over the Gulf of Mexico that is circling in that southerly flow because we're on the western fringes of that large area of high pressure. That means we're going to get some southerly flow and that means we are going to be seeing those warmer temperatures. Those winds are going to be at a pretty good clip though at around 10 to 20 miles an hour. That means that we are going to be seeing those winds make it feel a little bit more tolerable outside. Mid 90s across much of central Texas, a little bit cooler as you head off to some of our southeastern zones, places like Centerville, where they've seen a bit more in terms of cloud cover because they are getting a vast majority of the moisture that comes out of the Gulf of Mexico. But we're also starting to see a few of those light rain showers through portions of Grimes County in the Brazos Valley. But other than that, we have been mostly sunny and mostly dry across central Texas. Just a very hot central Texas afternoon in August pretty much the common theme as you would like to see it. We are still a little bit below average. This is a live look in Harker Heights outside of our Emerald Lawns Tower Cam. Winds out of the south southeast at around 21 miles an hour. Like I said, those winds blowing at that really good clip will allow things to feel a little bit more on that tolerable side, even though the heat indices are right at that hundo. Lows tonight are only going to get to those upper 70s, maybe even not get below 80 in some spots in the Brazos Valley like Hearn and Centerville. Winds are going to slow down just a little bit. Still should feel a little bit more tolerable outside as we head throughout that overnight hours, and then they'll ramp back up as we head throughout the day on Monday. But look at this. Some areas in our far western zones could be looking at that 100 for high temperatures that's based on our model data. That does not mean that they could actually get there. That means that it is a possibility. Other than that, looking at upper to lower to mid 90s across much of central Texas under those mostly sunny skies could start off with a few clouds here or there before they mix out and we see those mostly sunny skies as a result of that drier air in place. But the heat indices are going to be the story for tomorrow along and east of I-35 maybe even east of US 281 could be seeing heat indices getting to that 104 degree range, maybe even higher than that. And as a result of that, there is a heat advisory in effect for these counties in the orange. That includes Bosque and Bell counties, pretty much all of the I-35 quarter, except for portions of Williamson County on eastward as well. Places like Marlin, Mejia, you're involved in there as well. That's because heat indices could be between the 105 and 110 degree range. And as a result of that, there is a risk for heat related illnesses. So you want to make sure you drink plenty of water and limit your time outside. This is going to be in effect through 8 o'clock on Tuesday starting at noon tomorrow. So definitely something you want to plan for if you're planning on being outside either tomorrow afternoon or Tuesday afternoon for that matter. As a result of that, I can't even give you a 9 on the Jordan meter. I got to give you guys an 8 on that one because 8.9 I would say because yeah, the winds are going to make it feel a little bit more tolerable. Yes, we're right around that average of 98, but we are going to be seeing those heat indices getting to that 110 degree mark and that could could be dangerous if you're outside for an extended period of time. So you want to pay attention to that as you head throughout the day. Could still see a spotty shower though as well as we head throughout the course of the afternoon, mainly in our southeastern zones. But look at the highs. Tomorrow 97, Tuesday 97, Wednesday 97, Thursday 98, Friday 97. So pretty much a hot and mostly dry week. We, there is a disturbance coming in that could come in late Saturday, heading into Sunday that could give us a few thunderstorms, but not before we get the close, closest, I think, to that 100 degree mark. Nikki Laterulo has more coming up right after this break.